not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for the seven yards. That'll bring up third and four. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. The fullback is a safety valve for the quarterback most times. So it's pretty reassuring to know you've got a safety valve as talented as this guy. Up the middle for a nice game. With the carry. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. And they make the stop at about the 49. Gain of eight yards. First down. He's at the 40. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. From the 37-yard line, first down. Brought down at the 35-yard line. Down he goes at the 34-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Woo! I think everybody in the stadium felt that hit. He really laid some lumber there. And he's hit immediately. He's a solid blocker, but as he showed right there on third down, he also has soft hands for a big guy. The 10 makes it out to about the 7. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. Did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. And he converts the extra point. It was a 12th play, 79-yard drive. And the result, seven points. So our score, 7-0. Syracuse to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Slings it. Tackle at the 30. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. That brings him second and five. from their own 30-yard line. It's second down. He fights forward to about the 33. Call it a gain of three yards. Third down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. And he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Run 
Sends it right. Nice pickup. That makes it second and six. He makes his way to about the 38. First and 10. Ball on the 38. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a five yards. That brings him second and five. Gains his way to the 23 yard line. First down, 10 to go. All in the 23. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 16. It's the ninth play of the drive. Receiver touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Gains his way to midfield. So at the end of one, we're even at seven in this one. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Hands it to the back. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That makes it second and eight. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Hurry, 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 hurry. He's at the 30. He makes his way out to about the 25. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. And he tackles him hard at the 27. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Second down at 12. Ball on the 27-yard line. Is tipped away. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. And this play is number eight on the drive. Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. Going for it all to the end zone. It's broken up. The coaches have to be ecstatic with that kind of effort from the corner. No quit, no getting beat on that long pass. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Syracuse is looking to go up by three. 
It has the distance, and it's good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 10-7, Syracuse. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. With the reception, gaining four yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Right and left, right and left. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. He's tackled at the 28. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. Booming kick. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Syracuse is up a field goal. Finds his man, first down. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. First down. And he's level at the 40-yard line. So the sack makes this a second and long. Ready! Red 68! Red. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. To that quickly, and they make the stop around the 42 yard line. So they're going to go for it here. Here's a running play. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on them. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Nice run there. From their own 48-yard line, second down. receiver and he can't make the grab the pass is incomplete number four was the intended receiver on the play that'll make it 35 and they're gonna have to bring on the punt team it was a good hold by the defense on third down now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen fourth and five And this one is a beauty. A well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think probably the offensive coordinator take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. 
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Syracuse is up by three. He's on the run. Brought down at about the 13. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Brad, this defense reacts too quickly for a scramble like that to work. He needs to spread him out a little bit more to try to create more room to run. They'll make the sack. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Dumps it out left to the running back. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. I thought they might have been able to exploit the over-pursuit of the defense, but not on that play. And they're coming after this punter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Syracuse holds a field goal lead. Quick strike to the receiver. That's a great tackle at the 48-yard line. It's the junior. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary, but the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 33. The defense shut him down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. He's got it out to his tight end. And down he goes around the 32-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful at their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first tackle right around the 18-yard line. First 
Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he converts the extra point. Pittsburgh ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. You know, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Syracuse has a three-point lead. And he is drilled at the 22-yard line. It's now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. We played a half of football. The Orange lead, 17-14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Taken down in the backfield. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. No I'm game. telling you, every yard you that gain is earned, attack. and those were about as tough as they come. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He gets rid of this one. Slings it. They'll bring him down around the 26-yard line. Number 35 brings him down at the 26-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and nine. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one.
Kirk, this linebacker has made a statement with his play tonight. Well, this guy's fun to watch. He, he has the it factor. You know what I mean? When a guy just knows how to make plays, it's like he's playing backyard football. What I love is how he goes sideline to sideline and doesn't slow down. He just will not quit until the whistle blows. To me, this is just a classic example of just being bigger, faster, and stronger than the guy trying to block you. I don't care if this offensive line uses two or even three guys to stop him. There's nothing they can do to stop this individual performance that he's putting on display today. Makes it out to about the 50. Syracuse is up a field goal. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First and ten. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle made at the 27 yard line. Makes the reception. That's a gain of 10 on the play. First down. Here we go. Green and Eagle. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And he's taken down around the 18 yard line. That brings up second and one. Check, check. White 80. Regular. Right. Right. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He's out of bounds at the one. That brings him second and goal. We've got second and goal. About a yard to Pater. You don't want none. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. This is the eighth play of this drive. That makes it 30 goal. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal on D. Red 18. Breaks one and scores. Man, the big fella's a battering ram, isn't he? He's almost impossible to slow down in short yardage situations. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll get him for a loss. That is a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 22 yard line. Check back 11, check back 11. Go! 794. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Call the loss of four yards on the play. Third down. down. Right and left, right and left. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Go, go. Got a man open and he can't pull it in. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. 
quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Straight ahead on the given, there's nowhere to run. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 43. Ready! Green at the eight! Back. Draw play. Nice run to the left there. Call it a game of ball, the ball, the ball. That'll bring up third and eight. Set shot! He lets it fly. And it's caught. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get fumble, and they fall on the loose ball. That's a tough break, but he's going to get another chance today. What I want to see is if he'll change his running style after losing the ball like this. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really bad. That makes it second and six. He's tackled right around the two yard line. That makes it first and goal. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. He's ringing up the points with all these touchdown throws. That's his fourth. Well, what we have right now is a quarterback who's very comfortable with his offense. He believes in his system, and the coaches and players believe in him. You couldn't ask for a better situation. He makes the PAT. It was a quick three-play, 16-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 38-14. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. The Panthers are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. They bring the quarterback down. That's a loss of five yards. That'll bring up second and 15. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 20. Four down, four down. Take go. Four, eyes out. Two and eight. Motion, motion. Go. Throws in the middle, and they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. That'll make it 39. From their own 26-yard line, third down. Check mark 11, check mark 11. Take go. Watch the motion. Fires 
fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Syracuse showing right now that they are not content to sit back and just watch their lead disappear. They're adding to it. Boy, they're clicking right now on offense. They've found their rhythm, and as you said, they're not looking back. They're trying to extend this lead and try to put this game out of reach. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Give to the tailback. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. One more quarter to play. 38-14, Syracuse. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And he throws it away. From their own 41-yard line, it's third down. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. Taken down at the 23. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. He goes out of bounds at the 26. Gaining three yards. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 26. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. That makes it third and seven. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Three down. One, two, three. And down he goes, around the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Watch 14. Watch 14. Pass, pass, pass. Tackle at the 41. And that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. Got a first and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That brings him second and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 36. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Check, check. Motion, motion, motion. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. Number 86. This is intended to see right away. Right and left. That will make it third and five. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. There you go. 
And he tackles him hard at the 24-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24. Complete brought down, nothing doing. It's the ninth play of the drive. Just under three to go in regulation. And a quick throw. He might have a chance. That's a gain of four on the ball. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. There's a strike complete. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. It's the 11th play of the drive. Quick strike to the back, no good. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the nine yard line. And he's tackled at the six. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Number four is the intended receiver. It's fourth and goal from the five. Let's see if the defense can make a stand here. 34, eyes on 34. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Go. Finds his receiver, touchdown. That's his third toss for a score. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. What's more amazing than anything else is that these guys are still losing. So the offense is going to go for two. Watch the run, watch the run, watch the run. Just under two minutes in the game. He's in for the conversion. the 40 and we're really hoping to get the ball back there well now they have to call on their defense to make something happen they need a big play right here to get that ball back both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make a stop he fights forward to about the 39 pick up of a yard for the tailback from the 39 yard line second down After positive yardage. Pittsburgh's going to have to use their second time out of the half. He makes his way to about the 22. He got the ball and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big time speed. First and 10. Ball on the 22. He fights forward to about the 20.
It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Set, wide, 80, wide, cut. They'll bring him down at the 12. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Syracuse 38, Pittsburgh 22. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. It was a good game, but I'm sure there's a little disappointment down there. Pittsburgh had a few missed opportunities in this game, and I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer, and they might even have won this game. That brings this broadcast to a close. Free A Sports and Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.